On December 11, 2016, Nicole Shantae Moore, also known as Nikki, was reported missing by her mother. She had not been seen in several days, and she had not picked up her child. Um, the police began an investigation. Um, the uh, Special Victims Unit did conduct an investigation. It lasted about 60 days, and they exhausted all leads and, and were not able to, to find Nikki. Um, on January 11th, they were able to find her vehicle. Um, it was parked at the Toys R Us parking lot at Alfred and Sonsi. It was abandoned with some valuables inside that we know that Nikki probably wouldn't have left behind voluntarily. In February, the case was reassigned to the Special Crimes Unit of the Emerald Police Department. We can uh, throw some more resources at it that the other detective squads can't. And uh, within a few days, we were able to develop new information that Nicole Moore was, in fact, uh, in the area of Alfredo and Sonsi, the uh, Toys R Us parking lot, on December the 2nd, and that her cell phone pinged uh, westbound on I-40 and uh, a couple hours later, stopped working in the area of Vega, Texas, or close to the New Mexico state line. Um, since then, uh, the Amarillo Police Department has worked with several agencies, including the, uh, the, the FBI, uh, DPS, several sheriff's office, to exhaust any leads in trying to find her. We've searched several locations. We've written numerous search warrants, and we've just not been able to develop any new information as to Nikki's location. We've been missing our daughter for three years. It's been taking a lot of toll on our family, on our marriage. We brought our Nicole's son with us today. He's 17 years old. He broke down in the car. He's crying real, real, real heavy. He's missing his mom. We're all missing his mom. And it's really taking a toll on our family. Like to have some closure, especially for my wife's sake and my grandson's sake, because it's really, really tearing us apart. I mean, yeah. She didn't even get a chance to experience the life, and she needs to. If she's out there, somebody let her go and let her come back home and experience the rest of her life right. with her family. If there's anybody else that knows anything in the neighborhood that would like for us to know that don't want to go to the police, just come talk to us and we'll take care of it from there. So the Amarillo Police Department in partnership with the FBI have, uh, are now offering a $10,000 reward for information that leads to the recovery of Nicole Moore. Uh, if you have information and you've been reluctant to bring that information forward, um, we are offering $10,000 for information that leads to the to the recovery of Nicole Moore, you can call the Emerald Police Department Crime Stoppers or you can call the Emerald Police Department Homicide Unit.